And this time it was Thomas blocking for Sanders, who is now over 100 yards receiving. Five catches and a touchdown. Out near midfield, Manning to throw. Separation. Oh, big hit. Sanders gets walloped by McLeod. Penalty marker on the play. Now McLeod came over, and they're going to say he hit a defenseless receiver trying to break up this pass. Emmanuel Sanders is down. Well, he got hit rock there by McLeod. Let's see if McLeod leads with his helmet to helmet here. Now he leads with his shoulder. Now the question is, why does the official have his hat off? That usually signifies that the uh, receiver stepped out of bounds and was the first to touch the ball coming back inbounds as Sanders was. And there is a flag down along the uh, Broncos sideline. There are multiple fouls on the play, both against the defense. And Sanders taking a long walk now here at the Edward Jones Dome back to the Denver locker room as we send it down to Jenny Dell. Yeah, I, and as you just saw, he walked off to the locker room. I just spoke with the representative, and they said right now he's just going to get evaluated for a concussion. I'll have more information soon. On the 26, he'll get a shot at it. Whoa! Helmets out, balls out. Oh, my. And Josh Cribbs is probably out. Morgan Cox made the tackle. And let's hope that Cribs is okay. Morgan Cox is the long snapper, 46. The second hit that comes in, though, is the one that knocks the helmet off from the right-hand side. Cox was the primary. Now watch from the left here. That's Ellerby, 59. That's the hit that got him. And remember, folks, and you're, I know everybody's saying forearm to the helmet. He's not a defenseless player. He's a punt returner with the ball in his hands. This is not a defenseless player situation. All we really care about right now is his health. And both teams are out there and worried about it. Ribs one of the better return men in the league. And as you can see, both teams huddled around the fallen Cleveland Brown. Pat Coach Shermer out there and it's LRB who made the hit. Wow. So everybody singing a prayer here right now. We'll step away for a second with 507 remaining in the first quarter and hopefully Joshua Cribs will be up when we come back. Second and nine. Good play action. Moore finds some time. Gets away from to it. Here comes Harrison chasing. Moore, oh my goodness. Moore is absolutely walloped. I don't know how he's going to get up. Penalty. Oh boy. That was Bud Dupree who got to him in the first quarter on a vicious hit, clean hit. But this time flag is out and I uh, he was walloped as hard as you'll see it. And here come the Dolphins after Dupree. Right in the chin. I mean, really tough. Set up just a wild final several weeks, couple of weeks. Second down and 10. Oh, what a hit. Look out, Brad Smith. My goodness. I'm not sure about. Oh. He's the leading tackler, leading pass defender. Reality set in and he dropped back down to his knees. Well, what happened is he sees the hit coming, Jim, 
but he's grabbed from behind and it just he was not able to protect himself the way he wanted to. That's helmet to helmet, isn't it? Well, you know, helmet to helmet's gonna happen in the NFL. Yeah. It's not illegal. It's not a defenseless receiver who's in the air. Come down low. Well, that was vicious. Yeah, Patrick Willis. We haven't said his name a lot today. Support from the San Francisco fan base here for Brad Smith, who's able to get up and walk off somehow. I'm more worried about the emotion state of this team right now and where they go forward in terms of what they've done in the past. Well, let's see if he was over and had possession. No, incomplete. Kerry Rhodes breaks it up. And Bolden shaken up on the play. That's not good. Well, you, you don't want to see this late. You don't ever see this, but late in the game, in this circumstances, this, this is a coach's worst nightmare right now. And Anquan told us yesterday that Kurt's so good about throwing the ball where he doesn't take these kind of shots, but this is hard to avoid here. Ooh, that's helmet to helmet by Eric Smith. That he, that should have been flagged right there. Yeah, that, that's going to bring that's about a, a fine, but which obviously is secondary here because yeah. he paid a Oof. price. And that's exactly why the head-to-head, -head, not only for the receiver, but why the rules are in place, that you've got to have your chin up, you don't put your head down, helmet to helmet. This is exactly why those rules are in place by the National Football League. Both player, both teams walking off. There's such respect for Anquan Bolden, the way that he plays the game. You know, just the toughness to stay there and to, you know, allow that hit to be happen right there. Both teams emptying the bench here, almost like this game should just end right now. Well, Smith is up, which is a good sign right now. Obviously, he's not quite sure where he's at or who he is. But uh, the, the concern now has to go to Anquan Bolden. First, we'll take a look at this uh, play again. I have a question for you, Coach. I mean, you see flying out helmet to helmet right there right. by the Jets. And it's the launch. Yeah, it's, it's the feet. launch and the head to head. And they're bringing out the cart. And that's not a good sign. And it's hard. You're just trying to play football. You're trying to make a play. You're trying to break it up. But this is exactly why these rules are stressed. And that, that's, that's going to be exactly what everybody's going to show going forward as to why these rules are in place. I mean, you see flying out helmet to helmet right there by the Jets. And it's the launch. Yeah, it's, it's the feet. launch and the head to head. And they're bringing out the cart. And that's not a good sign. And it's hard. You're just trying to play football. You're trying to make a play. You're trying to break it up. But this is exactly why these rules are stressed. And that, that's, that's going to be exactly what everybody's going to show going forward as to why these rules are in place. All these players want to see right now is Anquan Bolden get up. That's the only thing any player is thinking about right now. Well, of course, Lavernius Coles, big day today, was teammates with Anquan Bolden at Florida State. Obviously, when something like this happens and, and you can see the reaction of the players, it just brings into very clear, poignant focus of the risks you are, uh, the risks you're under when you play this game. And every player understands it. Everybody, every player understands that at some point this game is going to end for you. And this is just that sharp reminder that this is the nature of the game. And that's all, not only wanting the best for Anquan Bolden now, that's what's running through each of these players' minds right now. Well, and when you see the competitiveness of the players, obviously this game at 56-35, the under 30 seconds, 
uh, but you play it. You play what, what do we always coach, Baldy? From yeah. the first, from the kickoff to the final gun, uh, you play it. Goes in, first and ten. Bell picks up Polamalu. Hassequan was drilled. Oh my goodness. Harrison again laying the wood, and he is slow to get up. Once again, a violent collision. This one's head-to-head, -head, mm -hmm. much in the same way it was with Joshua Cribs. Now, why wasn't the flag thrown on the earlier one? Remember, Cribs was a runner with the football. He was not in a defenseless position. Watch Massaquan. See, he's defenseless. He, no way he can protect himself. No way he can see the defender coming. He's looking for the football. Let's listen in. 50% first down. Reverse to Jefferson. Jefferson speed gets it down, and he fumbles again, but it goes out of bounds. He's ruled down, and he may be ruled out. He hasn't moved. He was smothered. What a hit on Sean Jefferson wow. by Zach Thomas. You could understand why he would fumble that time. Yeah, I that yeah. hit. But I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you something. I mean, if you're gonna run a reverse, why why this guy? I mean he's fumbled twice and now he's fumbled for the third time. I know the hit is there by Zach Thomas. Number 54, here comes the hit. Oh, I mean that's shoulder to shoulder. He goes down, the ball comes out. That is a fumble. He's out on the way down. It looks like Sean Jefferson on the way down has already been. Oh, it's yeah, helmet to helmet right there. I mean, that's just a great play by Zach Thomas. I mean, this guy, the one thing that Jimmy Johnson told us about him is, is watch this, watch 54 come in and, and, and mm. just level Jefferson. But the thing about Zach Thomas, he said, he is going to make mistakes, but he's going to be where the ball is. He may miss a tackle or two. He didn't miss this one. Sean Jefferson's head. Just watch what happens when Zach Thomas hits him. He, and I think Phil's right. He was out on the way down. Watch his head go back and away, and the ball's just coming out. Now that is not a fumble, but I mean, he was just that helmet to ear hole. Here it comes. His head just snaps. That is a solid hit. Sean Jefferson's left arm, left hand reaching uh, for the attendant. That's in a way, in his own way, as a signal for his family at home to know that he's got, you know, strength in that arm and that. It isn't serious. That's um, perhaps his way of communicating to his loved ones uh, watching. Back to the action. First down. Ball for 32 on third down and six. Bob in trouble. Gets oh, big hit on Deshaun Jackson. And there is a penalty marker. Well, that's a defenseless player. Dante Robinson down as well. Man. I don't, I don't know how you take this out of the game of football. I don't know if there's anything you can do. They've implemented the rule. It's hard for the player. Thank goodness it looks like it's on the shoulder more than Personal it was helmet to helmet. 23, defense. Hit to a defenseless receiver. 15-yard penalty, first down. But we've got to find a way. We've got to find a way in this game to help eliminate that play right there, and I don't know how you do it. I don't they've, they've done it through rule. We've got to talk to the players about the importance and the respect between each other Medical staffs from both teams tending to Jackson and Robinson another look at the head and It's a defenseless player the, the most important thing right now is it wasn't helmet to helmet, but you can see right there Deshaun Jackson exposed vulnerable it, it, it's so hard because you know, it, it's a competitive it's so game. Fast. Yeah. If, if things happen, people don't really understand. You know what? I, I'm just standing over here near both players, and they both ask each other if they're okay. And it looks like they're both going to walk off. I'll tell you what, you could have heard a pin drop in the stadium when that, after that hit happened. All the players. That, you know, as a player, that's like the scariest moment ever. I'm so happy that both of these guys are up, man. Backing off the blitz, giving McCarron time, goes underneath, and he is smashed. Shazier lays out Bernard, and Shazier comes up with the football. Whistles. Shazier takes it all the way to the goal line, but they have whistled the play dead, and meanwhile, Bernard has barely moved. Oh. 
He launched himself, used the top of his helmet. But Bernard has caught the ball, turned, so that's why no flag was thrown, probably. He caught it, was turning, turning into a runner there, Jim. Watch him as he turns. He's caught it. Uh-oh. Look at that. Look at midfield here. Jeremy Hills about to take on four Steelers. Stefan Tuitz over there with his helmet off. So is Timmons and a couple others, and that, that had the potential to be a whole lot worse. As far as uh, that breaking into something, something no one wanted to see. We bring in Mike Carey again. Yeah. Mike. Should there have been a flag here? This is the reason that they did not throw a flag. A receiver is no longer defenseless when he becomes a runner. He got two steps down, turned all the way upfield. They determined that that was not a defenseless receiver, just a very unfortunate hit.